My name is Sam Shermer. I'm the orchestra director, assistant band director, and AP music theory teacher at Arlington High. This is my fourth year teaching. So AP Music Theory is designed to take prospective music students who want to take music past high school and get them prepared for a college environment in a way that will make it so they're not buried by the coursework when they get there. College music theory can be very difficult and we present a lot of the information that builds up to that in a way that is both engaging and somewhat enjoyable to them. So I'm enrolled in AP Music Theory and it's basically a class to teach you about the science and theory behind music. This course is really unique because not many courses really go so deep into music, like go really in deep and tell you how to write music. We literally learn how to compose a piece and that is just very unique. I don't think I could learn to compose a piece in any other class. I always try to make a whole lot of a whole lot of the creation side. So we're going to write music, we're going to listen to music, we're going to do all the things that maybe they don't do in a college music theory course because they don't have to do it. Uh, but, and also I try to make sure that I'm as an engaging as person as possible so that I'm not just another flat monotone college professor that has to teach the course. My favorite thing about Mr. Shermer is that he really relates to the students because he's, he's kind of young and like he makes it really fun and engaging to learn music theory because normally music theory can be kind of boring. It's a lot of science and it's a lot of like sort of boring topics sometimes. But Mr. Shermer, he like has lesson plans that make it really fun to learn and engaging for the students. AP Music Theory is one of those courses where you really get out of it what you put into it. Um, it's not like a regular class where you can go in and you can learn the information, do the homework and you're ready. It's very much just like practicing your instrument, where the more, the more time you practice your instrument, the better at your instrument you get. But the more time you practice listening, the more times you practice writing, the better at it you will get. Um, so the more they practice, the better they get, just like practicing their instruments. So I tell them always, practice more, get better. They get an altered way of thinking about the music that they listen to. So. Um, Right now, when, mo when most people listen to music, they hear it and, it's, it and they don't think much about the process that goes into it. We have to think about the process that goes into it. Why did this composer write things this way? Why did he put this here? Why write this note rather than that note? And we have to talk about all of that. Um, so they get an altered way of thinking about their music and it makes them better in their other musical groups because they start thinking that way. They start thinking less about just their individual part and more about the music as a whole. If you're majoring in any form of music at all, even music education or choral conducting, you have to take music theory. You need to take it. So many college students struggle so much in music theory because a lot of high schools don't offer the course except for AP and kids don't want to take the AP course because it's hard and daunting. But even if you don't get a good grade on the exam, it's still an amazing experience to take it.